What is going on gamers? Welcome back to the Dom Gaming channel. My name is Eric and today we're going to be going over exactly how I stream from my Xbox to PC without using a $200 capture card. Do I have your guys' attention yet? Good. Let's go ahead and get it started. So the very first thing that we need to get out of the way is that there's a possibility this may not work for you. If you have slow internet or if your computer is not that great, this potentially won't work for you. But with that warning out of the way, if you guys haven't clicked off the video yet, let's go ahead and get it started. And I will show you guys how to change your stream from looking like this. Oh, until he gets out in the open. Yeah, here he is back, kid. You ready? Oh, 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 Post please, up. Oh, oh, oh. To looking like this. Yo, let's just rush him with assault rifle. Charge him, Charge him with assault rifle. <laughs> The first thing you guys need to make sure you have is a computer or a laptop nearby your gaming room set up so that way you guys can establish the wireless connection between the Xbox and the PC that we're going to be setting up today. I personally recommend that whatever device you're using, make sure it has a minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM so that way your stream doesn't fall apart on you once you guys get it set up. That would kind of suck. Now the next step is to make sure you guys have the Xbox console companion app downloaded onto your device. Now don't worry if you don't have it downloaded, it's super easy to download. You just go on Google, type it in just like I am and go ahead and click on the link and then choose whatever is best for your software whether that be Windows, iOS, or whatever it is that you guys are using. Make sure you download it, and then we're gonna go ahead and set it up from there. Now guys, this is gonna be the part where you need that fairly decent internet connection that I was telling you about, because remember, all of this is wireless. We are not using a capture card for this setup. When you scroll down to this tab down here that looks like an Xbox One and says the words connection, when you click on it, you're gonna be prompted to add a device if you haven't already added your Xbox One via Bluetooth. Once connected, you're gonna go ahead and click the stream button, which is gonna let your Xbox and companion app get a little bit more acquainted. Now I know what you're thinking, but Eric, this isn't gonna work. It's just streaming to my PC. What do I do now? I got you. Don't worry. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go over to Google and we're gonna do the same thing we did before for the Xbox companion app. Now we're gonna do it for Streamlabs OBS. Type that into the search bar and go to their website. Once you guys are on their website, you're gonna go ahead and download their link for their app. You guys download it straight to your desktop and once it's on there, you guys will see this cute little icon on there and you're gonna go ahead and click on that. That's gonna go ahead and open up the app for you and you're gonna be prompted to go ahead and choose which platform you'd like to use for Streamlabs. For me, that's Twitch. Once you guys go through the process of logging in, you're going to choose your theme, which is going to be a start fresh theme. You don't want to go ahead and import anything because you haven't done that yet. Once you guys are there, you're going to see the screen that I'm going to go over next. And once you guys reach the screen, there's going to be all kinds of stuff on there that kind of is overwhelming. I'm going to be honest. I felt the same way when I first opened it up. Don't worry. I'm going to show you guys what to do. So we have our Xbox streaming in the background on our desktop, and we also have Streamlabs OBS open. And you see this giant go live button that makes you very tempted to just go ahead and click it. But don't do that yet. We still have to put the pieces together. How do we do that? that it's pretty easy so go ahead and click on the plus icon where you see sources and go over here to display capture add this as a new source to your scene and boom suddenly you have this trippy inception style visual where you can see your screen inside of your screen inside of your screen now the screen may be looking a little bit weird for some of you and it might look like it's cut off or a little bit too big that's an easy fix so what you're gonna want to do is right click on the screen go over to transform and click stretch to fit screen everything's looking pretty normal now well except for the fact that you're seeing an endless loop of your display now comes the last Last and final part to fitting this puzzle together. Press that beautiful go live button and switch back over to the Xbox companion app that's been streaming your game in the background. You guys are gonna wanna go to the top right corner and switch the stream quality to whatever fits best for you, whether that be high, medium, or low. From there, we just go into the final step, which is pulling up on another device, our stream, and making sure that everything is running smoothly. And you're all set. You guys are officially streaming on your Xbox to your PC without a $200 capture card. You guys are welcome. You guys are now able to go ahead and add all of the overlay webcams, webcam borders, alerts, everything that you guys have wanted to put on your stream to make it more customizable to you and your brand, you can start doing without having to spend a lot of money. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today and that it helped you push your streaming career a little bit further. And don't forget guys, the bar for streaming is so much lower than it is here on YouTube. Just five to 10% more effort will put you above hundreds of thousands of other streamers, just like yourself that are in the position you are in today. One thing I did wanna mention before we go is that you guys do need to make sure you have a USB mic of some kind to be able to use this system as your headset will be what you hear with the gameplay normally. So you are gonna need to have a mic set where your stream can hear you. And to make sure your buddies in party chat are heard on stream, you're gonna wanna go into the volume settings on 
your Xbox and make sure headphones and speakers are both activated at the same time. If you guys enjoyed the video today, make sure you drop a like on it because that's gonna help the YouTube algorithm push this video out to other streamers just like yourself. And of course, if you guys wanna subscribe, that would help me know that you guys are interested in seeing future content just like this. If you guys wanna stop on by while I'm streaming live on Tuesday and Thursday, I start at 8 p.m. Eastern this week, but I will be changing my schedule pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that. Anyways, with that said though, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, gamers, stay awesome and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.